Hey guys, so it is Sunday, November 8th, yet yeah, the 8th. So I want to do Vlogmas this year, so to get myself back in the habit of Vlogmas, I am going to try to do weekly vlogs. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm pretty much getting ready in about half an hour or so. My best friend Casey's mom is actually picking me up and we're going to Sephora to shop for Casey's birthday or Christmas presents birthday. What am I talking about? But yeah, we're going to go to Sephora to shop for her Christmas presents. Casey already knows, so I'm not giving it away. Um, yeah, so I'm going shopping with her mom and then after that, in theory, I'm cleaning this disaster of a room that I'm looking at. I'm like literally embarrassed to show you guys. Like, this is so disgusting. I don't even know how to deal with this. Like, it's gross. I have such a headache and I don't know why I'm going out, but I love Casey's mom. She's like a second mom to me. So I'm really excited to see her and actually spend some time with her. Casey's at work. Which is not a weird thing, actually. A lot of people are like, oh, like, you're going out with your best friend's mom and she's not going? Like, I do this all the time. Like, literally, the amount of times in high school that I'd be at Casey's house and Casey would be out. We did that the other week when her parents were out of town. I stayed there. When her parents came home, I was still there spending time with her mom while Casey was at work. We do this all the time. When I say that her mom's like a second mom to me, like, she really is. Like, I love her. But anyways, so yeah, I'm about to go to Sephora with her. And yeah. I still have the coupon for my second play box with 50 bonus points because I forgot to use it last time that I went shopping. Oh, and so tried out the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Used it as a highlight and under my brows today because I was lazy and I didn't want to do full eye makeup. And I didn't really want to do full makeup, so the highlight makes it look a lot more pulled together. And I'm obsessed. It's already an unhealthy addiction and I'm going to die. Oh, I forgot. I need to bring my foundation with me because I need to exchange that today. I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin. They color matched me. Got home, tried it out. Does not actually match me at all. But they did that color IQ nonsense and told me it was my color. And then I put it on and I'm like, um, no, this is not my color. Tells me to never buy a product to sight unseen and trust them ever again. And it's very liquidy and I don't like it. Well, it's not that I don't like the foundation. I just think that I got a bad one because mine's like pure like water. It's like fully separated. It's probably been in the store forever and a day. Oh, my closet door's broken. If you can't tell, let me show you. So this up top, this door is not on the track, but we fixed that multiple times. I know this part right here is supposed to be there. Anytime that you move it, it comes off. Oh, of course, now that I'm actually trying to vlog it, it stays. I was fighting with it for probably a good 45 minutes earlier because it just kept falling. And I've been very bitter today. So you know how I brought the foundation to do the exchange? Guess what I forgot to do. Yeah. SB was on in the break room and Marshall changed it to family fucking feud. Who does that? Marshall. He secretly loves it. He loves 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 it also i made adam love frozen yogurt i'm a champion i don't like buy a new sweater i'm like oh i have to take a like fucking week off to like wear my sweater no because you need to be seen in the sweater i feel like that's not a fair comparison <laughs> but that's what i want to buy tomorrow i want to get a sweater or two oh um, that sounds nice I'll see how much I have in my bank account. Maybe I can buy you a sweater too. We <gasps> can be sweater twinsies, except in different sweaters, because we already have matching sweaters. I was gonna say, how many do we really need? Do you really want to start that? Shit isn't too toxic because I touched my straw. Literally, all the food. How do you feel in this moment? I'm very excited. Though they like made me feel bad with these. We got four forks. Because we can pretend that four people are going to be eating all these potatoes just to make our lives seem not so bad. It's like the Bella Mia incident. Except no Diet Coke. It's my uh, Bella Mia. <laughs> She's so photogenic. She's the cutest thing. You are so cute, I can't even deal with it. You are like a literal teddy bear. Casey the dog whisperer. 
This wife have a dog. Mom, I'm good with animals. Get me a dog. Hey, so if you couldn't tell, I got my hair done. I got it colored and cut, and I actually really like it. It's a lot lighter, less headaches, I can already tell. It's curled right now, but obviously I don't normally curl my hair. John's here with food. And yeah, that's what Casey and I did today. I didn't vlog because I wasn't sure how Taylor was about it, but Casey and I got our hair done, and I'm so excited. I am fairly certain that I'm the worst vlogger in the entire world because even though I have vlogged this week, probably only about 30% of it has been in focus because I really need a new vlog cam, so it's kind of a problem. So today is Thursday, it's Thursday night. All my footage from earlier was completely out of focus, which freaking sucks. Um, I am babysitting. The kids are already in bed. The mom actually works at a bar, so she doesn't get home until like 2 or 3 a.m. And where I am is like 45 minutes away from where I live. So once she gets home, it takes me a while to get home. I'm up forever on Thursdays. Uh, I'm here by myself until John gets out of work. Well, not by myself, obviously the kids are here, but they're asleep. Until John gets out of work and then he's joining me. But yeah, just eight. John's bringing me dinner part two. The dogs are in their room napping, but they're gonna be let out when John gets here. She has two pit bulls, they're really cute, Panucci and Ruby. I love them to death, Ruby's such a little cuddle bug. Panucci's just a puppy, so he's always overly excited and hyper and all that fun stuff. Yeah, so I'm pretty much just chilling here. Literally nothing's going on. I'm watching YouTube videos, Legally Blonde is on the TV, debating getting snacks. That's pretty much it. So Chris, the woman whose kids I babysit, actually was my nanny growing up. Like she's been a part of the family literally since I was born and found quite possibly the most embarrassing baby picture of myself in her house. And I'm about to share it with you. It's probably a bad idea and I'm probably going to regret this, but I am so unphotogenic in this picture. So, um, what the ever living hell is this shit? Set top box is no longer active. Like, screw you. Sorry, not sorry. I wanna watch TV. If I'm here until three or four a.m., I'd like to watch TV tonight. I'm not happy with the way that this is turning out. We are about to release the Kraken. And by Kraken, I mean the two dogs. Bep, go free the dogs. I, just I know, Ruby just wants to cuddle and Nucci just wants to play. No, not with my computer. Oh. Hi, Ruby. So literally, we got the TV working, and then it stopped working again, and now it's working again. So now I get to watch last night's episode of Hotel because I completely missed it, and I'm really bitter because I missed Hotel. But I'm getting cuddles with Ruby. And John's cuddling with Nucci, because Nucci doesn't like me. Okay, so I don't want to spoil American Horror Story for anyone, but I'm like fangirling just out of like the first five minutes of this episode, because Murder House is my all-time favorite season. Followed very closely by Coven, but Murder House takes the cake. The Doctor, in the very beginning of this episode of Hotel, episode, I think it's called 33. I'm 98% sure that that's what On Demand told me the name was. The doctor at the very beginning is the doctor from Murder House. I'm like dying. So it is literally 4.22 in the morning. This is the road that we have to drive down to get home. Can you tell how pitch black it freaking is? Like this is literally from Chris's house. This is how much of a country she lives in. It is insanity. My life's like really boring because I don't like to leave my bed, ever. Hey guys, I know I look absolutely horrid. It's Sunday. I forgot to wrap up the vlog last night. So I got out of work, I went driving for a little bit. Then Casey called while I was driving because there's a thing that happened that I can't really talk about, but 
something happened, she needs to talk to me. Nothing bad, I promise. Just something personal. And she needed a girl to talk about it. So, yeah, I was on the phone with her for a while. And then I started to feel like absolute death. If you can't tell in my voice, sinuses are acting up. Perks of having acute sinusitis. But yeah, I'm pretty much going to stay in bed and die. I might do stuff later. That's going to be for the next vlog. I just want to wrap up this week and say I'm sorry that I suck at vlogging. So I'm trying to do weekly instead of daily. Yeah, I just suck and I'm a sucky person apparently. But I'll see you guys in next week's vlog.